Hello, welcome to JD's Prep. In this problem, you're given that triangle ABC, AEC, BDE, and angle ABE is congruent to CBE. Okay. So I know this angle, ABE, is congruent to this angle, CBE. I also know that angle ADE is congruent to CDE. So I know that this angle is congruent to that angle. I want to prove that BDE is a perpendicular bisector of AC. In order to do that, we're going to fill out our table below. Okay. So here's our table. Okay. That first piece of information, that's all the stuff that was given to us. Right? The two angles, um, ABE is congruent to CBE, and ADE is congruent to CDE. Done. Now the second thing is that BD is congruent to BD. Well, that we know is just reflexive, right? It's the same line. So now we can go back and we can say, okay, this line, right? I know is the same because that's the reflexive. Next, angle BDA and ADE are supplementary and BDC and CDE are supplementary because linear pairs of angles right, are supplementary, two angles, that form a line have to add up to 180 degrees. The next thing is we're looking at supplements of congruent angles are congruent. Right? So let's go back. Right? And it's telling us that angle BDA, get a different color here, BDA and ADE are supplementary. Right? So this pair here, this one and this one. Similarly, BDC and CDE are supplementary. So here and here. Okay. Those supplements of congruent angles are congruent. So then what we could say, right, is here, BDA, right, since ADE is congruent to CDE, then their supplements have to be equal. So BDA has to be congruent to BDC. So angle BDA is congruent to angle BDC. And again, because supplements of congruent angles are congruent. And we already knew, right, that ADE was congruent to CDE. So then their supplements also have to be congruent. So now, using those four postulates, we know that triangle ABD is congruent to triangle CBD by angle side angle. The next thing is we can now say, right, that side AD is congruent to side CD and AB is congruent to CB. Because the triangles are congruent, right, then corresponding pairs of congruent triangles are congruent, so CP, CTC. So now let's go ahead and fill those in. So AB is congruent to CB, and AD is congruent to CD. Okay, And we know the triangles again by um, angle side angle. Finally, we want to prove that BDE is a perpendicular bisector of AC. So let's go back to our diagram. Right? Points B and D are equidistant from the endpoints of AC. Looking at our diagram, right, D is equidistant from AC because the AD is congruent to CD. B is equidistant from the endpoints because AB is congruent to CB. So if the points B and D are equidistant from the endpoints of AC, then they're on the perpendicular bisector. So let's fill that in. If points B and D are equidistant from the endpoints
of AC, then B and D are on the perpendicular bisector of AC.